Hey, this is Alex and thank you very much for stopping by, really appreciate. Today we're going to solve this uh, very simple example, it's actually very very similar to the previous example that we did in the previous coding challenge, which is given, a, uh, given an array, I want to calculate the sum of prime numbers, very very similar, and by the end of this video you will see that we have a really special and beautiful way to solve this problem uh, with Ruby. Just a reminder, it doesn't matter if you are solving this with Ruby, Python, Go, Erlang, Clojure, whatever. Uh, what really matters is that uh, we are going through all of these logic and concepts and you know problem solving skills. This is all about problem solving skills. So yeah, let's get into it. As you can see, I'm still using the Repoit website, which is great because you don't have to create this, uh, set up the Ruby environment on your machine. That's beautiful. So the next step here, as you can see, is the previous example, the previous code. And uh, as you can see, we are calling this count prime numbers, which as you might guess by the name, count prime numbers. And what I want to do is I want to remove this method and create another method because we want to sum all of the prime methods, all of the prime numbers, not count all of them. So def sum prime numbers. And here you go. And of course we have to uh, pass an argument as an, uh, an array as an argument. So array and here we go. Let's just replace this method here and make sure that everything is okay. So put a new message. So for example, it's working. Just to make sure that my environment is working. And yes, it's working. Here you go. Perfect. I'm going to clean this up. And then the algorithm, the logic, the way that you solve this is very, very simple. Given an array, I just want to ask a question. Hey, are you prime or not? If you are a prime number, then I want to sum the current item to the previous one. This is a very simple logic. So for each item that I have in my array, beautiful Ruby, thank you, you can just say, please, sum in this variable that I'm going to create, that I still need to create, sum each item if the item is prime and that's it. So I don't have this variable, let's create this and this variable starts at zero and let's return the variable sum. Here, that's very, very simple. For each item that you have in your array, you will sum the item if the item is prime. Again, let's execute and let's see if everything's okay. And yes, I don't know, actually, let me see. Uh, I have two is prime, three is prime, five is prime, seven is prime. So five and 10 and 17, yes, it's working. Perfect, that's the way that you can uh, solve this problem just using this for loop expression. That's a common way to do that and that's totally fine. But the reality is that we have a really beautiful way to do that in Ruby and let's explore it. Now it's time to fall in love with Ruby because this will be really, really amazing. Let's say that you have this array. Uh, I don't want to call this method. I just want to use uh, this space. Well, let's say that you have an array and I want to say, instead of using this method, I want to say, hey Ruby, please, I want to ask you a favor, please. With this array, I just want to select each item when the item is prime. This is really beautiful. What happens here is that, let's, let's execute this just to see the result. Uh, yes, as you can see, and actually I'm going to use this without puts. Perfect. As you can see, you have a smaller array. You know, we have this big array and then you are saying, hey, instead of getting this big array, I just want to select each item when the item is prime. And now you have this big array and you will get a smaller array because this is a filter. 
this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. That's that's when you think about you know choosing Ruby instead of JavaScript or Python. Uh, I'm just kidding because you have the same thing with Python and JavaScript. Well, the next step is I don't want to get the array or smaller array. I want to calculate the sum. I want to add two, three, five, and seven. That's it. And what I can do here, I can just say, hey, and instead of giving me the array, I want to reduce this array. And I want to reduce them by using a plus method. That's it. Let's execute this code. And here we go. This is amazing. So what you are saying, again, just to stress it enough, array, please select each item when the item is prime and reduce the values using a plus method. And with that, this is actually following more functional programming style, you know, and I'm not going to go into so much detail about functional programming because uh, I'm you know, I'm thinking about creating a special series just to go through Haskell, JavaScript, and Python, Ruby, Java, whatever, and explore functional concepts. But, you know, uh, you can see that you are following more functional programming style because this is a more declarative way to do things. You're just saying, hey, Ruby, I need this. And that's it. You're not explaining how you want to do this, you know, how you want it to be done. So that's that's really beautiful. That's uh, that's amazing. And just to finish this, because I have this uh, sum prime numbers method, I want to remove all of these things. And then let's get this array and pass here. And let's call the but sum prime and uh, let me see, it's not working. Now it's working and then perfect. So uh, we are using this array as a parameter and then you are asking this question. And if you execute this again, let me see. Yes, it's working, perfect. You have 17. Notice that again, you don't need to use return in Ruby. You know, that's, that's uh, another beautiful thing. So perfect. I think that's it. This is a beautiful code and you actually have a few more ways to solve this. This is a, actually an alias for another method, but I don't want to uh, go into much details here. I just want to make sure that you have this kind of view, vision of how you can use a more functional approach in Ruby. So that's it. I hope that you like it. Please drop your comment below if you have something really beautiful to say and see you in the next video.